going on everybody uh today i came out to gray's harbor gonna be doing some crabbing and uh shark fishing sturgeon fishing see what i can catch haven't been out here for a while but we'll see how it goes i'm brett and this is peeling line so i got some fish that uh i was gonna eat and then left it in the fridge for a bit too long bad on me but uh, that's okay the crabs will eat it also went out uh, shad fishing yesterday and I got a whole bunch of those which I'm gonna use today for bait and I'm gonna just chop off the heads of a couple only brought two out here to fish with here's, here's the shad pretty nice big ones
crab trap away and just uh, try fishing. At least there's a limit of crabs. Uh, if I get nothing else today. It's a bit, a bit rough out here so nice to get something. And now I'm going for some sharks or sturgeon. Whatever may bite. I've got a big chunk of shad on. We'll see what I can get. Alright, tough conditions to fish in but hey I'm giving it a go. bait out there. Grab a hold of it and start eating it. scale my uh, weight because these crabs are just, or not the crabs, the birds are just crazy. Thank <laughs> you. 
got a fish here. Ah, oh, he came off. God damn. Ah, oh, that was a shark. He bit me up. All right, we're switching to shark here. So the shad is just crazy for uh, attracting crabs. Throw on a piece of herring. So hopefully the shark likes that better. Something took a bite out of that. Just gotta let him sit for a minute, I think. Definitely a shark out here, though. What kind remains to be seen? Could be anything, really. I've heard there's even blue sharks that come around here. Mostly I've just got soup fin, seven gills, and dogfish. And that's the uh, objective of the today to get a soup fin but I'll be happy with a dogfish if I'm being honest with you um, I need to make some more shark liver oil and uh, I could use some for bait I don't even know if I'll be able to catch a fish with how bad the crabs are here good for the crab for uh, crab fishing but uh, I already got the limit of that giant humpback right there it's like I don't know how far like uh, 40 yards away maybe you can get a look at uh, what the weather's like out here white caps but this is fine gonna be uh, slow getting back unless I want to eat a bunch of water but that's a problem for future me <laughs> right now I'm just uh, trying to catch a shark hopefully moving the camera down to this lower position will uh, get rid of some of the wind noise just gonna give it uh, maybe another hour and then I'll head back on a positive note, uh, somebody wanted to see how the stubby craft handles in rough weather. Should be pretty rough going back. So I'll be able to get that footage. Hope I get a decent shark though. I'm still chasing a soup fin that I can take home and eat. Alright, we got one on. Not sure what it is. Feels like a dogfish. Pretty nice sized dogfish. Look at that beauty. It's a massive dogfish. I'm just gonna cut the belly open. Might be a female. Oh 
yeah, we got a fish on here. Oh man, another big dogfish. Kind of, I'm just gonna let this one go though. as well. Big big fat belly on there. Kind of feel bad about killing this other one. Um, don't like to harvest the females but there we go. Just gonna release them. Another little baby. There's another one. There's a fifth one. that didn't hatch, I guess. I didn't notice it was a female till after I smashed her on the head. But, uh, freed, I freed five of the babies, so there was about 12 more eggs in her, though, that had no uh, shark attached to them. I don't know if they still uh, are growing or what, but, uh, I mean, I don't think too many people are going to be crying about uh, dogfish, so a lot of people just kill them and throw them overboard. It's kind of why they make really good shark bait. But yeah, um, I'll eat her and uh, use some of her for bait and uh, definitely going to make use of those livers. It's been a while since I made some shark liver oil. I'm probably low on squally. All right, we got a bite. Oh yeah. Damn. Come back though. There we go. All right, cool. We got a fish on here. Big shark. Not sure what it was. And he's back. Oh, there we go.
behind. No, oh, he's on there. He's just swimming towards me. Ah, oh, could be a super fan. He's pulling pretty hard. Ah, shit, he let go. Okay, this wind's picking up. Five more minutes to see if that shark comes back, but uh, yeah. It's getting a little rough, and I'll show you the way back. Here's the waves. A little rough. Nothing this boat can't handle, and, and me as well. I mean, I think that's the main thing. Your boat's gonna float no, probably no matter what. Well, maybe not no matter what, but as long as you don't get a hole in it or something. Okay, that's gonna do it for me. Yeah, getting a little, little rough out here, but I'll uh, show you the trip back for those interested in the uh, Staby Craft handling in uh, rough water. Let's turn off the spot lock first. I'll set up a back camera too. And here we go. Till next time, guys. Safety first. Put on your little uh, lanyard deal.